Serena Williams here and this is a weekend update. So two weekends ago I ran somewhere that I can't remember now but I forgot to post a video. Um, that race was not the greatest. I fell out of my blocks and um, hit the first hurdle. I think I hit some hurdle. Um, but the good thing was that I was moving so fast in between the hurdles that I couldn't control my hurdle technique, which is why that race was so bad. I ran like 14 flat, which is really bad for me. Um, and yeah, that race was just, it wasn't the greatest race that I've ever ran. And so, um, that whole week I just focused on like running fast and hurdling fast so that I didn't have to run up against that problem again. And so this weekend, or this past weekend, was Mount Sac Relays, and I got into the Olympic Development Heat. Woohoo! Yay for me! And um, that was really cool, because I think last year I didn't even get into the meet for whatever reason, but whatever. Um, what's done is done. So this weekend was Mount San Antonio College Relays. That's where it was. And I was really excited about running. Uh, mainly because the weekend before that I ran 14 flat and I was moving so fast in between the hurdles that I couldn't control my hurdle technique. So that let me know that at least something in my training is right and working. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> forgot where I was going with that. Uh, anyways, um, this race was, it was good. It was the best race I've had thus far, this part of the season and in my training career that I can remember at the moment. Um, so we got into our blocks. Well, we're warming up. There's tons of like Olympians walking around um, everywhere from Allison Felix to Richardson, Tyson Richardson, the 100 hurdle guy. Um, I think that's his name. But I'm really bad with knowing names and competition. The only person I really, whose name I really know is like Lolo and Allison. Mainly because Lolo won the, is a hurdler. And then Alex and I met her in high school. So that's pretty much why I know those two names. And then like the older people like Carmelita Jeter and Gail Devers and Tyson Gay and like all those people. Um, outside of that, I kind of am really bad with keeping track of names as far as like current Olympic athletes and I think it's just mainly because I'm training so I don't have time to actually learn who else is my competition but whatever is besides the point. Um, there's tons of Olympians walking around all over the place and people were taking pictures with them and they were really nice and personable um, and it was really cool because I got to warm up in that atmosphere uh, on the track and off the track and so that was a really cool experience just to see or do or whatever. Um, so warm up and then we go on the track because there's only like five hurdles on the grass, but on the track there's more hurdles. So we go, we warm up on the back end um, of the hurdle because they're still running 800 races. So warm up um, and then uh, get ready. We go to the tent because they put you in a tent before you can run if you want to. It wasn't all that organized because you could have stayed on the track just like in hurdles like six, seven, eight, nine. Those hurdles were set up. So um, you could stay there if you wanted to. Um, one of the girls did. I don't know her name, but she stayed there. And then I went and sat in the shade because burning up there. I felt like I was in the desert. Um, so I stayed in the shade and I'm like, five shades darker now you can't really tell but I am um so I stayed in the shade and then me and a few other girls that I've ran it with before were also in the shade then the high school girls started coming in because it was um, Olympic development elite and then high school was ran on Saturday and then open and university was ran on Friday so um, when the high school kids started coming over then I went to the track because they were just talking about a whole bunch of random stuff and um trying to figure out like when they were running it was it was really cute because they were all like are we after the Olympic athletes and they were asking questions and stuff and then um, it was really funny so I went to the track to warm up with blocks and things of that nature so I got my blocks got out and um, the first heat off uh, went off 
and I don't know what they ran because I was watching it from behind and I wasn't listening for times. But um, I looked at the heat sheets. I want to say the fastest was 12.54, then the time after, or sorry, 12.40 something, and then after that was 12.54, and after that I think it was like 12.9 maybe and 13 and some other stuff. Um, when dated is 2.7, the allowable is 2 miles per hour, so um, unfortunately for record purposes those times don't count, but they still ran it, so, um, which is cool, you know, 1244 is moving. <laughs> um, so then it was my heat, but when my heat came up, all the little high school kids started coming out, so... I was setting up my blocks and there was like this high school girl next to me and I'm thinking like, am I supposed to run in this heat or are we after the high school kids? So the high school girls are like trying to set up their blocks and then the Olympic development girls like we're setting up our blocks and we're like, wait, you guys aren't in this heat. And then they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. So it's really funny because all of us were kind of standing at the line because they were so quick to jump on it. Like, why are these high school girls trying to get in our race? So it was funny. Um, and who knows, one of them might have been able to hang with us, I don't know. But they were doing that. And so then, um, we all set our blocks up. The first gunshot, uh, the girl in lane two or three false started. I'm not sure which lane, I just remember it was somebody on that side. And then I didn't really go back and look to find out either. I'm sure you can look on the heat sheets who false started. But, um, so it sucks for her, because it was a really good heat and good competition at the same time, and I'm sure she probably won't ever do that again. Um, she all started by, like, a lot. Um, a lot in, in runner's time is, like, I see you take off and then the gun goes off, and it's like, well, that's not right. <laughs> but the cool thing, like, I had an amazing start, too. Like, I got out, and I never get out, so I was really mad. <laughs> And so then they called us back and we got in our blocks again. And so um, we got out again, but I didn't get out as good the first time, but I still had a good start considering that normally I just sit in my blocks and then I run. So we had a good start and I had a good first six hurdles. And then after like the sixth hurdle, it felt like really hard and slow. And it was more so just me running and trying not to let anybody pass me. Um, so I ran 13.36 this weekend, woohoo, which is my fastest of my season, and um, there's still the tail end of the, my race that I need to work on, so I was really excited about that, and when I finished, I didn't know what my time was, I just knew that they gave me a medal, um, oh, I didn't bring the medal in here, I'll have to go get it in a minute, but um, they just gave me a medal and that was it. And I was like, okay, but what did I run? And the people giving you medals are volunteers. So they don't, they don't know. They just know to find who you are and give you the medal. So I got a medal and I was like, well, I must have ran some type of fast time because I got a medal. <laughs> and so um, after that, I walked back, met with my friends and we sat there and I went to the results board, but they didn't have times up yet. So the whole time I'm pretty much trying to figure out like, what I ran and I call my coach and I'm like hey I don't know what I ran but I know I ran good and he's like okay well let me see if I can figure it out so he figures out what I ran and then he calls and he tells me and I'm like oh I'm so excited like I ran a good time even though I was like already excited because I kind of felt like it was fast but it was just like reassurance that it was a fast time for me um that I ran a, a good time so Currently, I'm at 1336, and I'm really juiced about that because that's one of my personal records, I guess, this far in my season and for my track career. So I'm really happy about that, and I look forward to running faster um, times. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, ask me questions. I don't mind my answering. Um, share if you like, and thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, and let, let me show you my medal that I got in case you want to see. So hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the medal that they got or they gave us. It's pretty cool. has like a hurdler on it.
That's my metal. Woo! <laughs> Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.